I'm personally involved in two work packages um, in terms of voices and the other one in terms of youth migration within the European Union of um, workers, young workers coming to Britain for example and what do they do, where do they end up for EU citizens having this opportunity to as, on an individual level of leaving country A behind where perhaps there is high youth unemployment or difficulties of integrating in the labour market to come to another country and have the opportunities to work there. I think that is one of the biggest um, successes of the European Union in the last couple of years. What I want to get out of it is more of a um, integrated approach, more holistic approach to uh, studying outsiderness and not have a narrow focus on just one dimension. I think um, in EU projects such as style offers great opportunities to integrate various disciplines but also uh, integrate people from numerous countries and um, different research institutions throughout Europe. Outsiderness can be defined in various ways. Very often or in the past people only have looked at unemployment as one indicator of outsiderness. However, in terms of labor market outsiderness, we say we need to go beyond that. So there might be unemployed people, there might be uh, young people who are in precarious employment, who are in low wage employment. And if we only look at one dimension, we underestimate the problem. In a comparative setting, it then becomes a bit more difficult as in some countries you have more of those perhaps low wage workers, in other countries you have more of the long term unemployed. So that is the challenge.